What is going on? Welcome back to Trending Stocks. Today I want to talk to you about Alphabet, aka Google stock. I want to give you a good breakdown of what the data points are all saying and where it might be going from here. Before I get into any of that though, make sure you guys hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I always greatly appreciate that. And without further ado, let's get right to it. So I want to start by talking about the latest round of 13 Fs. A lot of big institutions have been increasing their position a lot. For instance, even Morningstar, 143%. A lot of institutions increased during their Q4 because keep in mind all of this round of 13 Fs does represent transactions that did occur in Q4. And when it came down to Q4, there was a lot of risk. I know technically the market didn't start to really rally and there was a lot more optimism until 2023 started basically, but Q4, there was a lot of fear, a lot of risk. So the fact that a lot of institutions did in fact increase their position during that time frame is very optimistic. And even if you do look at, for instance, a lot of the analyst ratings, as you can see right here, a lot of them are fairly still optimistic. And for instance, Jefferies did come in on February the 10th and they did reiterate a buy rating at $130. Even Evercore ISI, $125 outperform and that was on the 8th, the 8th. And keep in mind what happened on the 7th, there was a very large sell off because of this just basically a little bit more of a mess up on Google's end of course they kind of got caught behind the scenes uh, just slacking a little bit but of course they're really going to just ramp up very very fast and fix their issue and of course they're just trying to compete with Microsoft and Bing which in reality I had to Google what Bing is so I think right now and even ongoing and over the last little bit Google has always been the go-to and it will continue to be the go-to no matter how much money that Microsoft does in fact put into Bing so that's just my own interpretation I'm not a financial advisor so do your own due diligence at the end of the day but when it comes to it I like to look at both the dark pool secondary market various things so you can see basically Based on the dark pool transactions, there has been a lot of big money getting in. So for instance, 229 million, 110, 98, 95, 92, a lot of big money has been getting in over the last several weeks in Google. And keep in mind at that stage in the game, nothing's really changed for the most part. They just have to fix one or two minor things. But I think this is probably very good for Google, the fact that they realize that they messed up. They're really going to ramp up and fix issues and probably come back stronger than ever. That's just my own interpretation, of course. And based on the secondary market, there were some pretty big transactions. So 465 million, 464 million, 461. So a lot of big money has always been getting into Google for a long time, yeah, to be honest. And based on the options activity from Friday, even similar ever since basically this happened, it's been having a lot of call options being purchased insinuating that there is a bounce anticipated so it's going to correct itself go back to where it realistically should be so in my opinion I think what has happened is just a little bit more of an overreaction and this is why even myself I did buy in I bought in at $96.50 roughly about 350 shares um, so I know it's not as much as a lot of you out there, or potentially some other individuals, but I really wanted to back up the bus and take advantage of this tentative sell-off with Google. And because I see Google being a huge player and ongoing in the foreseeable decades. That's my own interpretation, of course, like I said, but based on the technicals though, it bounced off of that 50 day moving average. So in reality, I do anticipate it to bounce off of that and continue to trend up most likely in between that $104 range. Um, so again, based on stochastic though, it did really get from very much overbought to now oversold a little bit more neutral, but if it does get to around the 30 range, it will be considered a little bit more overbought bought so in reality i see a very big bounce coming next week our size also at 46 so fairly neutral in that regard momentum number of individual buyers aka retail investors have been getting out ever since the seventh about this whole tentative sell-off clearly that sparked a lot of fear but on the actual chart though things are still looking fairly optimistic it is above that 50-day moving average which generally speaking it was struggling to break out from so in reality i think it's going to hold up fairly well but let me know your thoughts on google in the comments below if you haven't already hit that thumbs up and subscribe i always greatly appreciate that if you do like my channel and support the growth take a look at my memberships link in the description below or just hit the join button at the bottom of the screen with that said appreciate you guys watching let's all make a lot of money on google